Does Max C belong in Master Duel? Oh, that's a good one. I guess it also applies to the TCG. Jesse Ninjas? I also I already watched the Jesse Ninjas video, so it's it's kind of pointless. Okay, so we will do we will do TCG testing, but quickly let, let me have my lunch break. So we're just gonna watch an MBT video. Also, nice recommendation uh, down here, Hog. You've triggered my trap card, the Magical Hats. In this series, myself and three of the top Yu-Gi-Oh! streamers will give their unfiltered, uncensored, and uninformed takes on some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s most pressing issues. The catch? One of these four has a fake take, and it's up to the rest to find the liar. It's time to play Magical Hats. Let's go! That was really in sync. That was really good, guys. I'm proud of that. Teamwork. All right, we did it. We did it. We did <laughs> Congratulations. It. Welcome back to another episode of Magical Hats. I am so happy to be sitting down with just the three most attractive young men in the whole wide world. We got Kevin. We got Nadir. We got Gage. We got me. How's everybody doing all at once? Doing good, bro. I, I, outstanding. Yeah. I got a bone to pick with you really quick before we start, Joseph, and I want to put this to your uh, comment section. I want them to comment their favorite combination of Tesco meal deal because the oh, absolute... God horrible takes that you've been giving about British cuisine on Twitter should not be forgiven. I will say, I hope that none of my viewers have an answer to this. If any of you are British, you have to tell me. Today, we're talking about one of the hottest topics in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like we do every week. But today, what we're talking about is Maxi. Now, a lot of individuals have a lot of really strong opinions about if this card is good for the game, bad for the game. But today, we're going to be talking about if it should exist in Master Duel specifically. So, uh, Kevin, you want to lead us off? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty strongly about this one. I like Master Duel a lot. I think the Master Duel format is great, and I think there is one very big spec that is just ruining this. All right, I'm going to start a poll for three minutes. You tell me if Maxi should come back to the TCG. This... This game that is like almost like it's a solid like eight out of ten, but it drops to like a three because of Maxi. I hate this card. This card should absolutely not exist in any format, including Master Duel, and I really think that uh, that it should just outright be banned and never spoken about again. Oh, wow. I don't need three okay. minutes. Well, Fair enough. Uh, strong take as ever, Nadir. What do you got? Strong words, Kevin. Strong words. I've been sort. Coder sus? I don't think so. I think that is Coder's opinion. I've heard him. I've heard him rant about Maxi before. Sort of like back and forth on the card in TCG for a long time. You know, I've sort of flip flopped between like it's fine and then like you know it's like obviously like not great and ideal. Um, but what I will say specifically in the context of Master Duel, I think it's really bad, and that's specifically because of the fact that it's best of one. Um, and so when you play a best of three game, the variance of you know, doing full combo, not getting interrupted, and ending on maxi during your opponent's standby phase is one of the worst situations you can be in. If you do that in a best of one, that's game over. You can just click the top left. You've wasted 10 minutes of your life. So a bit of a, I guess, like the meme in my community and my channel now is the, the this concept of the mini game, the side quest that happens in every duel. You see, when you sit down to duel, there's two duels happening. So you have the engine versus engine, you versus your opponent, and then you have the, the side quest of, I'm going to activate Maxi. E. It's a frustrating card for all the reasons that Kevin just mentioned, and I think it is particularly, particularly exacerbated in Best of One, where you cannot eliminate the sort of really egregious uh, pain points of Maxi. E. Go to the reasonable take. Opinion. I feel like I'm going to get called out immediately because I have... Which means it might be the imposter take, because uh, whenever Farfa says something reasonable... That's us. The almost the exact opposite opinion of Farfa. And by that, I mean the exact opposite opinion that is defensible. Uh, obviously, <laughs> I don't think that Maxi is good. You know, I don't think anyone in this call would be like, oh boy, the card is nice. Uh, but I will say Master Duel has made me a Maxi agnostic. Uh, I think Farf is absolutely right that there is a side quest where you play the Maxi minigame before you actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. Sorry, do you not um, know but if I think Maxi exists or not? Is this what Maxi agnosticism means? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I think despite the fact that Maxi can be so game determinative in Best of One, there's already something that's way more game determinative in Master Duel's Best of One format, and that's the coin flip. 
like in a world where there aren't really powerful equalizers and hand traps that do more than just interrupt your opponent that like actively like put offensive pressure on them the coin flip is going to determine almost every single game and so I appreciate that while the minigame isn't the same as Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a way by which the coin flip doesn't just determine winners and losers. I do feel like the version of Maxi where it is the worst is when your opponent puts up a full combo and then during your draw phase they go, ha ha ha, Maxi while Baron's up. To me, like full combo plus Maxi isn't functionally different than full combo without Maxi because like if you do an uninterrupted full combo, you win anyway. Like that's just... No, that is true. Part okay, this is... This is a genuine far far reaction because uh yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes sometimes it's true that after your opponent's combo, you could theoretically still win. But then they drop Maxi and you can't. But like some of these combo decks do what MBT says, they win anyways if uh, if if even if they have Maxi in the hand or not. It's like it depends on the dynamic of the format, what the types of decks you have out there. There's decks that objectively just win the game with their combo. And in that case, it doesn't matter if they have maxi or not. And then there's there's decks like... But there's also decks like Sprite, where Sprite is in Master Duel now, and Sprite will never, never, ever make a board that's completely unbeatable. Every Sprite board, if you have a solid hand, you can play against. Which is also why I don't understand why people can really hate Sprite. But every single sprite board that they make is theoretically breakable, but becomes unbreakable as soon as, as soon as they drop a max C behind it. Just Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and the third thing and final thing I'll say is that I kind of like that it has forced players to get creative when deck building. Like now, um, you have a line. Okay, that's just bullshit. People are not creative with deck building. People just throw three Ash, two Cold Mine, and a Cross out in every deck that's weak to max C. In Mathmex, specifically geared for what you do if they max C your circular. You have a line in Branded for like what you do if they max C on uh, the activation of Branded Fusion. Like people are uh, putting contingencies in their deck list, um, even in combo guides. Um, so I don't love the card, uh, but I do think it is not always bad. Well, I think uh, max C is definitely one of the most divisive cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like since release, it wasn't really played too much on release, but it just has morphed itself into, in my opinion, the best card of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I think <laughs> in general TCG land- Rose never read Painful Choice. OCG land, I actually feel like the card should be banned in like competitive play in a best of three format. But as Joseph said, like I think the game won, like it being like, only a best of one has definitely given me a little bit of respect towards Maxi actually. I still feel like it's the greatest equalizer in the game, but um, through deck building and stuff, I've st sort of learned a different kind of view of it. One thing that I think would be really important is like if we looked at Master Wolf, it had like a tournament scene, right? Like when Fluanderies and stuff was dominating, Maxi's literally useless against that deck. And I feel like when you're going up against Ladder where it could literally be anything, and you could play like trap decks or something, Maxi uses, loses a lot of like the power and the potency behind it. I feel like um, Joseph had the right idea saying like it's the worst case scenario when you go full combo and then just drop Maxi on your opponent. But you also have to remember that now that in the game especially, there's a whole bunch of different decks that people can play. But when you're in a best of one and everything, you can really get caught off guard in like a tournament scene or something like that and maybe get swept by, I don't know, Inspector, Border, like Stun or something like that. The possibilities are actually just endless in a best of one format. I really feel like people have to shift their view uh, from how we traditionally look at Maxi and best of three format because it is just significantly different the only thing you could have said worse than that gauge is at the end there is like maybe two would be fine you know that's the only no, thing. No, that's, <laughs> no, kevin no, i am is... seething what do we do with these people kevin how do we like i'm no, ready okay, to fight so... someone this is going to be the most violent episode we've ever had this was garbage your takes are dog shit that. you guys are so dumb the goal isn't to figure out whose take is dog shit or not we know every we know like 90 percent. i don't we care know, kevin i'm on my know. own side no, no, quest look, now and that's to fight these two give people. me a Sec. We know that 90% of Joseph's takes are dog shit. It's just a standard at this point, okay? Fuck off. So we're not Holy here to figure shit. out whether the take is dog shit. We're here I'm to figure out who argue with that. Lying. I'm here to figure out Joseph's address. That's what I'm here for, Kevin. I'm sorry. <laughs> so one one thing that I am going to ask to the two that that th like are advocating that Maxi is like, okay. You guys are saying how it like 
adds a lot of variety to their to people's decks and like they deck build for it and everything and they they build lines in their deck, deck building for maxi again, by ma the way against maxi yeah yeah exactly and in my opinion <laughs> the only deck building for maxi that we're seeing this is the is problem both every... mbts and gauges take were completely unreasonable so now you have to guess which of them is actually being unreasonable and which one is just the imposter because one of them is definitely just being weird everyone and their mom is three Ash, three Maxi, two Call By, and a Cross Alley. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're forgetting about Ghost Bell. At the end of the day, like, you guys are saying, oh, well, the coin flip. How was MBT unreasonable, though? He said, he said, M I, he likes how Maxi impacts people get creative with deck building. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. The people are people are not uh, really respecting Maxi and deck building because you can play like a billion outs to it. It that would maybe be the case. I've made that point in one of my very first YouTube videos, which my opinion on Maxi has changed a little bit since after playing Master Duel, but my initial take was that I think Maxi would be reasonable if there was no way to negate Maxi. Right? Even then, I'm not sure if I would like it, but if your maxi would always resolve, then people would actually have to think about, oh, do I play this combo deck or not? Right? Do I play this deck that loses to maxi? Because if they have maxi, I cannot just hope to draw a cross out called by or ash blossom next to my combo, and then I can, I'll be fine. I can just ignore it. So I think that's, uh, that's the thing. Is like people are not forced to respect Maxi in deck building. And that's why that take is completely horrendous because everyone is still playing combo decks, but if your deck is weak to Maxi, you just play Ash, called by, and cross out, and that's it. And there you go. Would determine the winner immediately, but it's like, well, I mean, if I didn't have to play Ash, Maxi, called by, cross out in my- If anything, Maxi limits deck building because of it. you have to include itself and the counters. Yeah, it's like 10 cards are gone in your deck, nine. If you wanna play, if you wanna play a mid-range slash combo style deck, it's like three max, Three Ash, two called by one cross out. That's nine cards that you have to put in your deck. You are, you are like super limited in your non-engine. Deck, maybe I would be on, you know, three Forbidden Droplet. Maybe even some going second cards. Pancratops at three for Christ's sake, you know? So I, I guess I feel like this is more specifically targeted at me because I was talking a lot about coin flips, but... And because your IQ is at room temperature, but oh go on. Oh my God, I'm going to attack you. I would say that uh, if... The master duel tax didn't exist, right? If Maxi was banned, you didn't have to play Maxi Ash uh, called by Crossout Bell. Then you would see to compensate for the coin flip uh, a bunch of like equalizer style cards that have applications going first. Like people would start deck building with like three droplet, three or two or three uh, triple tax, stuff like that. Like I think that there are enough externalities that there's always going to be a lot of similarity in deck building. But that's fundamentally way more fun and fairer than Maxi. And not only that, it's also, it's also names. the fact it's also it's the fact that yeah, they're just different cards. cards. Like no, he says just no, 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 no. Because, because you're because you're they saying don't necessarily become insta staples. Like Maxi well, yeah, is that's a the insta thing. staple. Okay, well, no matter yeah, what. Okay, like that's so we, no, but I want, but I want to get, but I, but I want to get to this first. Okay. Uh, second is is you're talking about people <laughs> deck building with respect to Maxi. This one I like how they did on this one. I like I like how the the last ones were all like always reasonable and like very civil discussions. And this one is just like everyone screaming at each other and talking at the same time. How I sort of explained this. When I talk about people building for Maxi... <laughs> it's ba um, it's literally I I a mean, representation. Like, it's just a perfect representation of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community when it comes to Maxi. They are Because that's what everyone does when it when it's about if Maxi. They ash the circular, or they Maxi the circular, that don't necessarily require deck building considerations they're play style considerations you send diameter off circular rather than okay sigma. but you don't so you, you don't you don't make that, that choice that, right? that's that's just a flawed example because you it sends for cost if you have only circular in hand you're going to send sigma and then they max no but what, yes the, no but well, yes, what he's so saying you can, is you right, get like gauge cook, like gauge cook. No, so what he's saying is you get max seed and then people have already optimized a way to play into the max C, but not give your opponent enough resources while still sticking on a board. I think that's unique. Yes. Like, imagine, like, yes. every, I don't know why, like, we're in the zone where it's like, I get max seed, I instantly have to pass my turn. If I've learned anything right. from Master Duel, it's that sometimes playing through max C or making certain types of boards, you're at a best of one. Sometimes you have to just throw shit at the wall and hope it works. I like, mean, if they I, max C a, a branded fusion, you're fine. 
you know, you get yeah, well, one draw, is on a and then you make mirror by it. The final thing that you that you brought up uh, that I, I do want to address is when you're like, Maxi is an insta-staple. I think that's mostly true. But there have been periods in Master Duel, specifically when Flu and Runic were top decks, that people were shaving it. Like, I think there exists a hypothetical, like, metagame in which Maxi <laughs> is not fantastic. That's just, that's just so, not true, dude. That's just not true. Th here's, this is no, why it's Maxi literally true that this people were shaving it. This is why, well, they're bad. That's all I have to say. Oh, the, no, reason, some people, the reason some why people Maxi is so less, fundamentally like... unfair in this situation is because even against doggy decks like Floodgate Runic, you will still at some point one for one. But people aren't playing Upstart, right? Like Upstart is not a good enough card for oh people. My no, God, but the logic is that you go in blind to it. You don't play like Upstart blind. You're, you're literally playing a card that reads, at worst, I'm upstart. At best, I auto win the game. Yeah, okay, exactly. We're not trying to resolve the question. We're trying to figure out who's lying. Okay, I, yeah, totally. I, All right, anyway. So like, yeah, no, Gage. Gage, who do you think the imposter is? Just based off of, think, off of this. Uh, Kevin had a really strong statement. There is like, oh no my way God. too extreme. No. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's either Gage. It's either Gage or Gage is just completely throwing. There's no way that Gage is going on to Coda right now. There is no world in which, oh my God. And if it's actually MBT, then Gage is just completely throwing everything against the wall. There's no way. No oh, shot! you think he's no. the imposter. No. Come on. The, the problem with, no, so the problem with Kevin being the imposter is he literally said one sentence. He was like, <laughs> I fucking hate this card. It was like, well, what are we supposed to prove about that? He hates it. He hates no, it. But he was like, he was just so over the top for it, bro. Like, okay. was... Either way, it doesn't matter if Gage is an imposter or not. It's completely throwing either way because it was completely. If Gage went on to uh, onto MBT, I think he could have maybe swayed the other two. He could have swayed Farfa and Kevin, I think, to go on to MBT. Blaming Kevin is the stupidest thing you can do, no matter if you're the imposter or not. Because if you're not the imposter, then you have to go on to MBT. And if you are the imposter, you also have to go on to MBT because that's the one you can convince the other two to actually like vote out. You, there's no way. <laughs> what, the, what are you thinking? Oh my god! So I mean, the top. literally, watch my stream for <laughs> two seconds. Max C gets activated on me, and I instantly go, "Fuck!" Oh, so you're the guy I was just talking about? Oh, I concede if I see Max C. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All I right. do. Not, I don't concede. No, nah, I think he's the imposter. Like, like, I think dude, he's the imposter. You have There's no, no idea way. how frustrating it is to literally go, normal summon Moye, reveal a sword soul, reveal a, a worm, and they go Max C, and I'm like, dope. I now have to either pass here or let them pot of greed so I can Shishao set blackout pass. This is a, a wonderful example because you are ending on a winning board in Shishao blackout no, pass. You are not on, on, you are not on, you are not you are not you are not ending on a and winning board. It's impossible to win it there. It, it's, it's like it's not impossible to win. It that is, point. bro. I'm it's sorry. Not. If, they, if Wait, you're playing, the if you are, it's if just you, not. Gage, if you're playing against oh Brandon, my if you're playing God. against Shishao blackout, a winning board against seven cards in hand. There's a. I can't decide between MBT and Gage because they both like literally don't know what they're talking about game right now with seven cards in their hand not considering any of the cards in their hand that go plus they are starting with seven cards to your imperm plus uh for what's it called uh, icarus attack are we just forgetting you have three other cards in your hand okay cool yeah one of them is a worm that i revealed off my moye that leaves room for yeah, two more hand that's traps. that's the worst thing gage because the other cards in your hand could be like extenders that you just can't use because max exactly active. damn it i I was gonna say Kevin because I was like, oh, that was like a really bad argument, but I really don't think it's Kevin. What I will say, I don't think that it's Gage and maybe I'm completely wrong here because I played, I ran a good amount of games against Gage literally just a few days ago and we max seed each other back and forth and not once did I hear him complain about it ever. So I definitely think it's most likely Joseph <laughs> because I, I, I definitely know for a fact that- I can't decide, I can't part. decide. Because I, I do think it's MBT just from the takes presented but i can't fathom my brain just can't i can't wrap my head around the concept of gage actually being like honest in this in this whole discussion i can't wrap my head around my 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 mind cannot comprehend the possibility 
that Gage was being serious this entire time. <laughs> There's no way. I, the thing is, I don't even hate it. It's just like in Best of One specifically, it's worse. And Joseph, do you know why I think it's you? It's like, so I'm going to probably vote for you. And it's like, you have to pick now. You're really stupid or you're the imposter. <laughs> because your argument for, well, if you go first... Well, it's the same for Gage. <laughs> it's the same for Gage. And for one of them, the answer, they're not going to like the answer. One of them is going to get away easy with like, oh, yeah, I said these things because I was an imposter. But then how is the other one going to explain their their opinion? You win anyway, even with Gardner's one of them, it's not going to look good That's just not true. You can break <laughs> boards. It is true. You can break boards. It's doable. You can absolutely win this game going second. But if you're uh, maybe, opponent Maybe you can break well. a fucking Dante pass, all right? <laughs> you, but you, no. Oh, okay, he went there. He went no. there. So you're not going to break three hand traps, super factorial, uh, wicked... Uh, Lingaribo uh, Mascarena. It is yeah, ban math, Mick, then. Nah, gonna happen. Beginning, I, agree, uh, I agree with Joseph here. You are not breaking three bank. hand traps. You know what gets you to three hand traps? Maxi. I rest my case. Boom! Oh my I am glad that shut, Farfa shut brought up. that up, though, because I completely forgot about that point Joseph made. I thought that was dog shit, too. Bro, hey, I'm not gonna hey lie. Joseph, Joseph, real quick as well. I'm sorry. I, I know I just, I'm just focusing on you, but it's like you, you have the shittest takes. that I can't help it, right? <laughs> so you said like people are mathing out these lines to like play around Maxi. I don't know about math, right. I'm I've never played that. But you said branded. Well, I'm sorry. What is the line of, for branded fusion to play around Maxi? It doesn't change. You still oh. go Labellion into Mirror Jade. Nothing changes. God, you, you literally do not know a goddamn thing. Tell what, what is it? Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Enlighten us. You hold the fucking quick play. You hold the quick play instead of starting your turn with a luber. You don't go for the lost line early. You don't get greedy. No, no, and you add said branded fusion. You didn't say anything about branded opening. I wait, said wait, branded. Wait, wait, wait. One second. One what second. What do you think branded no, no, no. is? No, you one said second, branded fusion. Whoa, you didn't say opening. We we no, we have we have our imposter. Joseph, what do you mean you hold the quick play? Are you talking so about you, are you talking about branded opening? Yeah. You, the the card that can either special or add. So if they max see you, you just add the Aluber and normal summon it. But you would always want to special the Aluber in a best of all possible worlds. So yeah, but in a best of all but possible if they world, your opponent doesn't it's have max C. If you are playing without it's respect, it's over. They your found them. And you they have found a them. hand that includes branded opening. And you lead branded opening, uh -huh. and your opponent chains Maxi. Yeah. You don't have access to branded lost. But if you lead fusion, and then when they Maxi, you chain opening. You get lost for later in the turn. So when you go on your opponent's turn for the branded and red, you can trigger it to get the Mercurio. That's the line. That's fair, but you didn't say branded opening in the opening argument. You said you said explicitly branded fusion. You're out of the shut the fuck up. You did. I don't know about that. That's shut the fuck up. That was the coolest Ted I've ever seen, bro. This guy literally just chilled you out, bro. Either Joseph is the imposter or he is Gage's number one ally. No, I I hate to do this. I hate to do like meta shit, but it's. I think that it's Gage. As soon as Nadir jumped on me, despite the fact that Gage and I have the exact same take, he was like, oh yeah, it is oh Joseph. Oh my God. Joseph, was <laughs> bad that I agree with. The, okay, let me ask Gage who is one, the imposter? one final question. One of them, do you agree? Like I said, one of them gets away easy here by just saying, yeah, I said all these things because I was the imposter. The other one, I have you some would questions be for. Be able to go second just as easily as you do now, <laughs> replacing Maxi with these other cards in a world where Maxi doesn't exist, and it would be more fun. No, the, your very last part is the dumbest thing I've ever. You heard, don't bro. think it would be I'm, more fun to be playing no, in a format where you're playing with drop like it over you, Maxi? Like you said, man, you played me just last night. You drop Maxi every single turn, and I don't complain once. I'm playing Yu Gi Oh. I'm having a good time. Like like Joseph said, they're just different cards. I don't know why we've He's just not acted like if we've... you're having. He wants no, no, to know no. if it would be more fun. Uh, no, I still think it would be equal amount of fun. I don't care. Like you said, it's just different cards. There's some real anime take here, Gage. This is, this like, is, this is, we're having fun and time. playing with our friends. <laughs> I don't get it. That no, like, I, I, the thing, like I said in my argument, man, like, I've come to a decision. I've come. I have come to a decision. I have also come. Let's all write them down. I have also come. How can they be serious? I think it's MBT. I think it's MBT and Gage is just being weird. Just because I want to see him, like, imagining in my brain, like, him falling out of a spaceship. I have my vote written down already. Okay, I'm ready. So Gage is one to vote MBT. Three, MBT is going to vote Gage and then... One. I have Joseph. I, I don't know. Who is it? You're supposed to announce you're the imposter. I'm not the imposter. It's me. Let's okay. go! <laughs> do, we all get, do we all get Joseph? I broke Gage. No. You did? There's no way! 
I was lying my fucking ass off. Are you kidding? It's so easy to break boards in Yu-Gi-Oh now. Like, oh, how am I going to break Mirror Jade Pass? <laughs> I think the year's <laughs> argument about how they have a built board and then fire Maxi while a Baron's up, I think that's just the winning argument. I Also, that line about branded fusion or whatever, I just pulled out of my ass. Yeah, I don't even I know if tell. it works. I what? legitimately don't know if it works. I thought it was pretty smart. <laughs> you came up with that on the fly. <laughs> wow. If, if you have branded fusion, you can... Me. All right. Um, thank you all for coming by. We're hatting it up. That's it. That's I don't have a good answer. Now that means, let us all, let us not forget. That was great fun and all that. But that means that throughout this entire video, Gage was serious. <laughs> Gage was serious. There's no shot. Like how? <laughs> Can we, like, like, I don't know. Rewatch that video and just know that he's serious. <laughs> Just rewatch it and know that he's serious with all the things he said. There's no shot. There's no shot. Oh god. No, I have not encountered gauge takes like that before. No. <laughs> uh, do not watch the previous episode. We might watch it like on another lunch break. Not right now, but on on another lunch break. I I like the series. I think it's fun. Oh god.